Hi, I'm Jennifer Russell. I'm from the Saugerties Library, and today I'm going to tell you and show you how to make very simple, colorful candles. When I was a little girl, uh, my mom would do this craft with my family in the wintertime, and I want to share it with you. So, She would use paraffin wax. This is not a natural wax like beeswax is, but it melts very quickly. And as you can see, it's translucent, so it can make pretty nifty colors. So where can you get paraffin wax? Well, you can get it at any grocery store or even hardware stores, especially during canning season. The molds that we would use were just very simple paper cups. And you can use any size paper cup. Today, I'm going to be using these really little cute ones, make very small, cute candles. Um, we also would use waxy crayons to make colors with them. When I was a kid, we would just cut them off into little bits. Nowadays, I have uh, an actual uh, tool here, a nice sharp blade that I would shave off pieces to make the different colors and the different uh, candles. So there's a thought, making nice little cups of different colors. And you can have several cups with several different colors all at the ready when you need it. To melt the wax, she would have an old pot, an old cruddy pot like this. And certainly you don't want to cook any food with this. It's just for crafting, crafting only. And she would have a coffee can. Now, I don't know about you, but when I go to the store, I don't really see coffee being sold in cans anymore. They're sold out of plastic. So I actually had to go to the hardware store to get a really, really cheap can, but it can be used over and over and over again. Now, she would take the pot and put maybe an inch of water in it and put the can in the pot and then take that block of wax and put it in there, put it on the stove, turn it on. It doesn't have to be super duper hot because this wax melts very quickly and you wait until it becomes a liquid form. The other thing that you will need in order to actually pour the wax into the cup is some sort of an oven mitt or a towel or some such thing because when you reach for this can to pour into the cup, it's going to be very hot. So you have to protect yourself. Now, paraffin wax, like I said, it melts at a rather low temperature, but still, you don't want to burn yourself. It's still better to be safe and have an oven mitt or a towel or some sort of protection for your hands. Like that. All right. The other thing that you will need is some sort of wick. And I bought this from the art supply store, but I remember my mom just using cooking twine to make a wick. Other things you'll need is some sort of um, stick. I'm using pipe cleaners. My mom, I have memories of we just rummaging through our junk drawers and finding old pencils, broken pencils, pencils that you don't want to use anymore. Uh, any stick, a tongue depressor, anything will do. Just some sort of stick. And the other things are extra. These things I'll tell you about now. They're extra things. You don't absolutely have to have them, but I think they're really cool. Trinkets. Trinkets and glitter. Glitter and trinkets are fun things to add to the candles. Now, the trinket is a magical kind of thing where once you put in some liquid wax 
you plop in the trinket and once the wax solidifies you can't see the trinket anymore so if you give this candle to someone as a gift they have no idea that there's a special something on the inside until they light the candle and it melts away revealing this special thing now i highly recommend getting a trinket that's made out of metal like this is or glass now certainly you could have something made from plastic because this wax doesn't get too terribly hot but it just might melt if the plastic is thin now glitter can be used at any point in the pouring of the wax but it's a very special thing i'll show you at the very end having to do with the glitter okay i think that's all we need to do to get started so basically what you do is you get your empty cup and your wick and you tie your wick to the stick like so and then you measure it to the bottom with maybe just a little bit extra at the bottom because you want it to reach all the way down and you cut it off all right this stick or pipe cleaner is going to hold that wick in place while you pour in your wax. Now, you want the wick to be pretty much, that's too long. You want your wick to be pretty much in the very center of the candle. If it's too much to one side, the candle will uh, melt oddly. And like I said, paraffin wax melts very quickly. So it might, melt oddly anyway that's part of the fun you might want to put the candle on a dish or something so that if the wax uh, melts it doesn't stick to anything really important so basically this is what you're going to see your stick and your wick okay now once you have that pretty much set and you have your shavings of color ready you have your melted wax and you grab it with your mat and pour it pour it right in and you only do just a little bit however much you want but starting with just a little and then you just grab some of this color and you put it in to that molten wax take one of your extra sticks pipe cleaner whatever and you mush it around a little bit to make sure that 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 color is is dissipating in there and you can also use this to make sure that your wick is kind of in the center once you've got all that color going the wick is where you want it what do you do you put it outside, put it out on your windowsill, put it out on the front porch. But if it, it's cold because it's winter time, you can put it right out there and it will solidify in no time. Once it is solidified, it will look like this. So the wick is in there now. Don't really have to worry about that wick moving at all. But there's the, I put in blue. That's what it'll look like. So you repeat the process. So I put on my mitt. I pour in a, another layer of molten wax, however much I want. I add some, some color. Maybe it's a different color. Most likely it's a different color. That's what makes it so interesting. And then I mush it around make sure that that color is melting in that liquid wax and once i'm ready i put that outside in the windowsill on the front porch and when it comes back it should look like that no longer blue now it's kind of a greenish yellow all right don't have to worry about that wick moving it's in there really good at this point with this last layer I'm going to put in a trinket. Uh, this is a nice glass bead. 
put that right in there. And you can put your trinket in any level. It doesn't have to be the last. It just happens to be what I chose. And I pick up the wax with my mitts and I pour it close to the top. And I put it outside, windowsill, front porch. And this is the final thing. Oh, I forgot something. So put in the trinket. Put in the wax, mushed every all the color around so it's nice and even, and then I took the glitter. This is the special the crazy part. And I just tap the glitter on the top, and it does some very interesting things. It's really cool. You'll love it. And then I put it outside. And when I get it inside, this is what it looks like. See all that crazy, shiny glitter on there? It just is stuck. It's stuck in there. All right, and what what do you do at this point? Well, you're ready to go. You get a pair of scissors and you clip off that part so your wick is free and then you cut into that paper up and you just Go around. Now you'll notice that this candle is red and orange and yellow instead of blue. This is my sample piece I made beforehand. There you go. There you go. So you got your wick on the top and all this really cool glitter and somewhere in there, there's a special prize. These make really nice gifts to give someone if they're nice things to just have around. Because, you know, once you, you, you make one and you put it outside to harden, what are you doing with yourself? Not much. So you make another candle. So it just is this really fun progression. And so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that uh, you have some time to make some fun candles. And thank you for joining me today.